I am Timothy Tracy, the Vice Principal of Washington Park School. I helped oversee the STEAM Day at Memorial School, which took place on Friday, June 4th. STEAM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Art, and Mathematics. The students incorporated all of these elements in a variety of projects that they did throughout the day. Kindergarten students worked on creating a model zoo. The students researched ahead of time what habitats different animals live in. For example, they took a look at lions living in jungles or penguins living in Antarctica. The students constructed their habitats based on these, the, the research that they did. They created the zoos based off of recyclable materials and different household products from home. First grade students took part in a tower challenge. The students developed a plan to see who could build the largest tower. Students built their towers out of recyclable materials and household items. The end goal of the product project was to see whose tower was the largest freestanding structure of their class. The goal of the project was to see whose tower would be the largest freestanding structure out of their class. For second grade's project, they constructed a model town. The students voted ahead of time on what different town that they would be using. The students selected suburban as their environment for their communities. The students developed a pre-plan to create their town and built their town based on using recyclable materials. Students featured a variety of elements that were present in many different communities, and most students modeled their towns after Totoa. The main goal of the project was for students to use teamwork, problem solving, and critical thinking skills. While using all these skills, the students incorporated science, technology, engineering, art, and mathematics, or better known as STEAM. So, when I was getting some pom-poms, I got an idea for my video. So, I was thinking probably I can get some different um, pom-poms and then I just put them around for little things to play with for the animals at the zoo. The project is about a zoo and there's animals inside of it and what I'm gonna learn is there's lots of animals and you can learn about animals by learning how they, how they move, how they drink, how they do anything. My project is about um, um, time balloons so I could uh, make them so they could stick to them um, so I could play with them. So um, once I'm done, I could stick them on here. I'm putting the balloons on here. And my project was about building a city and my materials were boxes, paper, um, popsicle sticks. I'm including the library and the town pool. Grass, there's a snake, there, there's tubes, there's straws, there's a zoo sign, there's plates, there's markers, there's straws, and there's a glue stick, and there's scissors. And I could also use a pencil to line out the things. But then I was thinking probably I should do them inside so it can be more fun, more. And then I just glued up them, and then I just put some roll-up thingies. And then I glued this up, and then now I'm gonna color this, these little color zoo things. And I'm learning about is that animals live in the, some animals live in the zoo. We're using boxes, straws, and like, some like, what are they, cotton balls? And then I'm gonna glue this on, and then I'm probably gonna try to color the grass too. Probably I can do stuff on the bottom here. So then I was thinking, probably I can draw a little sign for it too. Right now, Liam and I came out bed and I make they made a big sign and I'm making a tiny sign right now. We are trying to make this stand. So it actually works. Right now I'm working on a bakery because um, I live really close to one. And now I'm gonna pop on this little thing right here. So I'm gonna get some glue. And then I'm gonna put it right here. 
and then show can be more things and these little things probably I would call them the gates so the animals don't really you know jump out to escape and then I'm gonna get some q-tips and then I'm probably gonna stick them right here so let's try and see if it works I'm making a, like a train track this is a train this, this is like a statue. Huh? I'm making like a snack shack because there, Dominic, there's a, there's Liam, a, and Christian yeah, need um, a, baseball a baseball field. And now I'm going to try to color it like this. Like this. I, I just, Liam thought of the train also. The water bottle train. Yes, the water, yeah, the water, water bottle, bottle train. train. Yeah. This this is a straw we put Play-Doh and pom-poms in it. Then we stick the straw in to look pretty and like humans a little kind of. Our art building is um, a kid building. And it has a pool and a secret headquarters. We use cardboard boxes so that we can make our building high. And and we use the, the card, the sheet of cardboard right here so that we can make like a little bridge. We also did like a little bed room over here, a bedroom on the top roof. We saw this video about this little video and then we saw different animals of zoos. So then we saw all of the animals and then we saw all of the creative stuff, and then I got an idea from all this. So then I was trying to color and color and color, because they were coloring stuff too. Even I saw some different people at them. So then I saw a zoo thing, and then I got an idea from all this. That's how it happened.